what's up collective how you guys feeling i hope all is well with you and yours send you guys lots and lots and lots of love all right we are about to get into the message for tonight okay this will be like a super super late night reading okay i don't know who is going to be up to watch it but i'm sure some of y'all gonna be up all right let's get into the nighttime see a late night read I hope you all are doing well. Sending you guys lots of love. Thank you for tapping in. Thank you for rocking with me. All right. This is a general message. So you guys know everything may not resonate. Take what resonates with you and your personal situations and leave the rest with somebody else out there. Um, I'm picking up on multiple energies, multiple storylines. Please use your discernment. Everything may not be for you, okay? Don't stress it if it's not your message, baby. Check out some other titles and watch some other readings of mine. I promise you, even the ones that are dated, um, they can still resonate with you whenever you come across them, okay? All right, y'all. Let's get into the late night reading, the late night tea, the nighttime tea so on and so forth whatever you want to call it okay let's get a late night reading going hope you all have been enjoying your week so far these weeks be going by fast all right y'all let's get into it holy spirit what messages do you have for the divine collective tonight what is it that they need to know Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the Divine Collective tonight? What is it that they need to know? Give me a message for the Divine Collective tonight. Three more shuffles for my Divine Collective. I just saw the sun in the reverse. Somebody here could be unhappy. Okay, somebody here may not be seeing something clearly. Uh, some of you could be Leos. You could be dealing with a Leo. Yeah, strong Leo energy as I say that. So we had the sun in the reverse. Now we got the strength card. So a strong Leo energy. Some of you have significant Leo placements. Are you dealing with someone that does? All right, collective. Let's see what's going on in the energy. Holy Spirit, I ask that you cover and protect me as I channel this message for the collective. Thank you, Father God. All right, we got the star card. Aquarius energy. So someone here is healing. Collective, this could definitely be you healing and walking away from a situation somebody's pissed off that you chose to do that or you're currently doing that yeah somebody's mad about that could be a leo could be a sagittarius but somebody here is pissed off because you chose yourself that's what i'm hearing i choose me i chose myself i'm choosing me i'm healing and i'm walking away eight of cups is you walking away walking away from things people places things certain behaviors etc walking away from what no longer serves you for your highest good but in this situation in particular i feel like y'all walked away from a situation y'all walked away from a person and somebody is pissed off tempers in reverse somebody is so angry that you decided to heal and move forward and go in another direction i feel like this should happen real fast too it's like somebody here didn't see this coming somebody here thought you was gonna stay stuck or be stuck on them however it may go Somebody here did not see this shit coming. This Eight of Wands is giving me quick, fast action. Like, this happened out of nowhere. This is how somebody feel. Like, how the fuck you just let go like that? Yeah. I'm hearing your cutoff game is too strong. <laughs> There's an Emperor in the reverse that's pissed. Somebody here is really pissed. The Emperor reverse, Tempest reverse. This person is pissed because you're strong. Somebody here is pissed because you're strong. Yep. Somebody here that's abusing their power and authority. Somebody here that's blockheaded arrogant my way or the highway they're mad because you chose yourself the lovers you made a choice to love yourself heal you made a choice to have the strength and courage to move forward they thought that they would never see the day the chariot you move forward collective some of you could be aquarius you could be a leo you could be a gemini you could be a cancer you could have that in your chart but you said i choose me i'm gonna heal i'm gonna choose me i'm gonna heal and there's an emperor in the reverse that's seeing fucking red right now because you choosing yourself. You're choosing to heal. Yeah, justice in the reverse. Whatever was done was an injustice to you, right? It was unfair. It was unlawful. It was an injustice that was done to you by this emperor in the reverse. And you said, you know what? I'm out. I'm walking away. I'm healing. I'm choosing myself. 
a lot of you feel like this person don't love you. So this could be a romantic connection that you finally let go of. <clears throat> okay. Or an attachment, unhealthy attachment is what I, my spirit guides is really telling me it was. It wasn't a partnership. It wasn't a romantic connection. It was an unhealthy attachment, some sort of codependency here. All right. And with the King of Cups in the reverse and Eight of Pentacles reverse, somebody here is upset because you're not investing in them anymore. You know that this person don't love you. For a lot of you, you feel like this person don't love you because they juggled you. A lot of you also feel like this person is immature. Like maybe they're not on your level. Maybe they're not mature enough for you. I'm hearing, he wasn't man enough for me. Okay, I'm hearing Tony Braxton, he wasn't man enough for me. Okay, and some of y'all are trying to manifest a real man. I said, I, I heard I heard somebody say, I'm manifesting a real man now, sis. That wasn't a real one. <laughs> y'all petty. <laughs> But this person did break your heart, right? This person left you broken hearted, but it's okay because you're healing, you're choosing you. I feel like you learned the lessons that you needed to in this situation. This person now has to go heal themselves as well if they so choose to, right? We all got free will, okay? Yeah, this was codependency. I knew it. As soon as I said a romantic partnership, my spirit guides quickly corrected my ass. They said, uh-uh, ain't no romantic partnership. A lot of them folks, okay? It's an unhealthy attachment. And lo and behold, the Nine of Cups in the Reverse came out. So that's like a codependent attachment here, okay? Somebody here formed a, um, a codependent attachment to someone that they were in a relationship with. The relationship wasn't good. It wasn't nurturing their soul. It wasn't feeding them. It wasn't helping them grow or evolve. But, you know, sometimes you stay in situations because... You still got a lot of work to do. You trauma bonded with that person. Maybe that person's really helping you out. You scared to be on your own. You know, people stay in situations that are not good for them for, you know, various reasons. We all start somewhere. I'm not here to drag nobody to, or kick nobody when they down. We've all went through those karmic connections, right? Or those connections where, you know, damn, I stayed longer than I, than I should have. You know, I knew I was going to leave this motherfucker last year, but I'm still doing it. You know, it'd be situations like that. Shit. I mean, we all done been there. We all done been there. So that's what I'm picking up on. Somebody here is finally letting go of a codependent situation. You guys are turning into empresses, okay? I really do feel like whoever this message is resonating for, you are on your way to empress status. If you keep your head in the game, okay, you stay in 10 toes down and you stand firm in your decision to walk away, you're going to turn into an empress, whoever you are, all right? I do feel like this person that you're separating from could be wanting somebody to wait on them because they want a new connection with someone else. <clears throat> so, yeah, this person, I don't know, y'all. That's why whoever this resonates for, that's why you feel like this person really don't give a damn about you. Because for some of you, you feel like this person is ready to jump ship and be with somebody else right now. And it's like, well, damn, you ain't never really give a fuck about me if you're ready to be with somebody else right the fuck now. You know what I mean? You know, it's almost like, you know, like, you know how, like, if a woman and a man together, right, and they break up and a woman get with a new man. You know, or the man get with a new woman right away. It'd be like, hmm, them motherfuckers, you, they should have, they probably was cheating while he was with so-and-so. Because it'd be too quick. It's like, man, you was, you was cheating, wasn't you? Who that? Like, how you get with that person that fast? You was cheating on so-and-so, wasn't you? You know, it, it raises eyebrows. So, I feel like whoever's in this situation that's separating from someone, they really putting things into perspective. Like, yo, you never truly loved me because you, you ready to be with somebody else right now. You know? Could be wanting to be with an earth sign. The person showing up as a queen of pentacles. Could be a Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. But, you know, it don't have to be an earth sign. The person's just showing up as an earth energy. But this is like not even a shock to someone here. Whoever Whoever's choosing to heal themselves and walk away from a situation, it's not even a shock to them that this person wants to be with somebody else right now, like right away. Because this is somebody that is impulsive anyway. This is somebody that falls quick to temptation is what I'm hearing. Somebody that's very impulsive. The emperor reverse, king of cups reverse, the fool reverse. Somebody that's very self-serving. Somebody that falls to temptation. That's how somebody feel about this masculine here. But everything is faded. This is a faded event that's playing out. I'm going to keep the wheel of fortune up here. But with the wheel of fortune here, this is like a faded event. This is something that's faded to play out the way that it is. All right. Yeah. 
I feel like whoever is walking away and choosing to heal themselves is still energetically holding on, though. It's like, damn, because you're still in love with somebody. That's how I feel. I feel like for, for whoever this is going to resonate with, uh, those of you that's in a collective, maybe you resonate with this. It's like you still care deeply for this person. It's like you had to make a head over heart decision. Some of you had to walk away from a situation while you were still in love with the person. It's like I'm walking away because I know that it's best for me, but my heart still want this person. But I got to be... I got to be smart, you know, I got to make a head over heart decision. I got to be logical here. Am I going to continue to allow myself to get my heart broken by this person? Because that's essentially what's going to keep happening. I'm going to keep getting disappointed. I'm going to keep getting my heart broken. Am I going to stay and continue to let this person stomp all over my heart? Or am I going to walk away even though my heart still wants them? I, I wish, you know, that they would have lived up to the potential that I saw in them. That's how somebody feel. I wish you would have lived up to the potential that I saw in you. You know, this is tough. Somebody is definitely heartbroken, but they're building the strength to, to keep moving forward because they know that this is what's best for them. Somebody here said, I'm choosing me. I'm going to choose me. It's so crazy that I'm getting this message too because I had um posted something. And I was um, not on here, but I posted something somewhere else. And um, I had wrote, you know, I choose me, you know. And I just said that just to say that, like, I'm not going through a breakup, but I just, I said that. Because it's best to always choose you. And you feel like life gets better. You feel more blessed and you feel like you have a clear mind. A strong intuition, a strong sense of self, a strong relationship with the most high when you choose yourself. Choosing yourself is always the best thing, right? Choosing peace is always the best thing. If something is costing you your peace, then that shit ain't from God. You understand me? If something is costing you your peace, it's not sent from God, baby. And somebody here could be feeling that way. Like, yeah, somebody here gonna listen to this message and be like, you know what? You're right. <laughs> you know, somebody ain't going to be like, you're right. It's true, though. You got to look at it like that. You got to look at things from a higher perspective in order to truly heal, you know, because sometimes we look at things on such a surface level and we overthink and overthinking is what really causes even more suffering. The pain don't even be that bad. It's like we cause more pain and suffering for ourselves by overthinking or we continuing to relive the trauma, relive the pain, relive the past. Anytime you stay stuck in the past, anytime you stay stuck in the past, that's a recipe for disaster. That's a recipe for self-destruction. That's a recipe for depression. Never want to stay stuck in the past. Never want to relive traumas, ever. It's okay to revisit it, to see how far you've come or what else you need to unlock and heal. But to relive that shit, you set yourself up for the self-destruction. You set yourself up for failure. You set yourself up for pain and depression, just straight agony. So that's just a side note for whoever could be going through this heartbreak. Don't relive the trauma, baby. Focus on what hurt you, why it hurt you, and what you can do moving forward to heal from that and not bring that pain into your next cycle in life. Don't bring that pain into another relationship that you may get into in the near future. What lessons did you learn? Okay, you learned those lessons that actually apply it to your life. But moving moving on from that, that's just a side note. Somebody here could be having trouble sleeping at night because they heartbroken. Somebody here heart is so broken to the point where they don't even feel comfortable. They can't even get comfortable to sleep at night. You know, this is sad that I'm it's sad what I'm picking up on, you know. I feel for whoever this is that's heartbroken. I truly do. I really do. And I truly mean that. But this is like a learning lesson here. Somebody here definitely feel like they learned a lesson, you know. And it's self-love attached to this. The lesson of self-love is always attached to, to uh, situations like this. Yeah, nine of pentacles. I told you, turn it into the empress. You're going to turn into the empress. You keep on this path. You keep moving forward, choosing yourself and healing. 
you are bound to turn into someone that's very independent and turn into an empress, okay? Straight goddess energy. I also feel like there is an empress in this situation that somebody here is feeling some type of way towards, okay? This empress is who this masculine wants to be in a relationship with. Mm -hmm. Three of wands, four of wands, the empress and the nine of pentacles. But with the five of swords, somebody here wants to harm an empress <clears throat> because they don't want this empress to receive the ten of pentacles. So what's going on? This masculine got money or something? Somebody here think a masculine is going to give an empress money? Is this what this is about? Or this ten of pentacles could just represent building a life together, an abundant life together. Somebody here does not want to see this masculine get with this empress. But I've said it before in another message, and I'm going to say it again. An empress does not want an emperor in the fucking reverse. Okay, an empress, a true empress, right? A true divine feminine, somebody here that has bust their ass to do the work to be in the empress energy. They don't want no fucking emperor in the reverse. They don't want an emperor in the reverse. They're not a vibrational match. That's a recipe for disaster as well. Yeah, somebody here is unhappy. The sun reverse could be a Leo. Could be a Leo, could be a Sagittarius, could be a Scorpio, could be an Aquarius. Those are the signs I have the most. Somebody with that in your chart. Yeah, somebody here is unhappy and watching an empress. Feeling like an empress is about to celebrate and live their best life. Okay, somebody here is trying to figure out a way how to block this, how to make this empress miss out on an opportunity. Okay, there's a king of wands in reverse. That's getting some sort of karma there under heavy judgment, okay? Could be a fire sign or a Virgo that wants to sneak and come towards an empress so that they can miss an offer from their true counterpart. But that's over and done with. That cycle closed out. Empress, my collective. Those of you that's in this empress energy, which is my divine collective that watch me, I know. There you go, empress. You don't want this emperor in the reverse that this other person is heartbroken over. That's one, because they're not a vibrational match for you. Two, you got somebody from your past that's trying to come towards you to block you from receiving an offer from your divine counterpart. This person could be a fire sign or a Virgo or somebody with strong fire or Virgo in their chart. But this person is very deceptive. This person is trying to figure out a way to come towards you to, if they haven't already. Okay, But this is somebody that's trying to figure out how they can get you to miss out on opportunity with your real emperor. Okay, Your real counterpart. Everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords. Be mindful of past people coming back. Okay? Because you got a real counterpart here that's coming in. Okay? A lot of y'all are going to be very happy. You got a real counterpart. This person is showing up as the King of Pentacles. And I feel like you know that this is coming. You're showing up as the High Priestess. You may not even know who this person is yet, but you just feel them. You know they they on the way. You know they're coming. That's what I'm getting from this. And there's the King of Wands in the reverse. Or Virgo, Virgo specifically, or a fire sign. Somebody was showing fire, Virgo in their chart. I'm also picking up on Aquarius and Gemini. Okay, so this masculine could be a fire sign, a Virgo, an Aquarius, or a Gemini. They're mad and they want to talk to you. They're mad, they want to talk to you. They don't want they don't want you to be with your real emperor. They want you to be with them. They know that they're not your emperor, but they don't care. They want to be with you. This person is still attached to a karmic partner. The karmic partner could be a Leo woman, specifically. I'm getting a Leo or a Scorpio woman or somebody with strong Leo or Scorpio in their chart. But whoever this Aquarius, fire sign, or Virgo is, this person got loose ends with a Leo, a Scorpio, or a Capricorn feminine energy, specifically. Okay? And they're mad. Because whoever that person is, they found out about you as well. So it's like you got two separate situations here, Empress. Let me break it down. Empress, the first message that I was getting, I was talking to a brokenhearted woman that feels like it's time for her to choose herself. 
she's separating from an emperor in the reverse. She feels like this emperor in the reverse wants to jump into a connection with you. This is somebody that you know from the past. You're not talking to this person. The cycle closed out between you two. As far as you're concerned, the situation's over. Y'all not a vibrational match. This person hasn't done the work in order to be a vibrational match for you. Boom. That's it. Then you got another situation here where you know that your divine counterpart is on the way. For a lot of you, you can feel this person. Even if you haven't actually met them in this lifetime just yet, you feel them. You know that they come in. You just know it. You know like the next one going to be the last one. That's it. I'm about to lock it down. I feel it. God already told me. That's the type of energy y'all in. Now, there's a king of wands in the reverse, right? There could be a fire sign, an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Virgo masculine that y'all used to deal with in the past for some of y'all. This person knows that you are about to get cuffed up, wifed up, whatever. How they know, I don't even know. Maybe they feel it too. They've been spying on you, watching you. They know you got something good coming. They know you got a husband or something coming. Whatever. This person trying to come in so that you can miss an opportunity with your true counterpart and be with them. They want to be with you too. Now, they got somebody else attached to them as well that's angry with them because for some reason they found out about you. And they're jealous of you. So, you got two masculines here and two women each woman is attached to the other masculine. One is trying to choose herself and heal and walk away from a situation. Another one is holding on to dear, for dear life and she know who you are and she's mad. She's jealous of you. It's too much going on here. <laughs> you know? Empress is too much going on here. Somebody here is depressed. <clears throat> Somebody here is depressed. Somebody here feels like they out in the cold, like you don't want to talk to them. Whoever this person is that wants you to miss the opportunity with your true divine counterpart is somebody that could have ghosted y'all. And this person is a Gemini, an Aquarius, a Virgo, or an Aries, Leo, Sag. But whoever this is, they could have ghosted you. This is somebody that was a player. And they could have ghosted you or they could have been real hot and cold with you because they were too busy entertaining other, you know, other people. Yeah, they're very toxic. I'm hearing that this person may have like a sex addiction for some of you. But this is somebody that was being a player and they wasn't really trying to settle down with anybody. I mean, they wasn't trying to settle down with you, that's for sure. And y'all knew this and it just it didn't work out. Yeah, justice in the reverse, it just didn't work out. You was like, I'm not going to wait for this person to commit to me. Yeah, look at this. Three of Wands in the reverse, Justice in the reverse to the Hierophant. You said, I'm not waiting for this person to commit to me. But now they want to come in and commit to you now. Now they want to come in and commit to you. I'm telling you, it's an earth sign for some of y'all. I'm getting strong Virgo. Could be Taurus Capricorn as well. But this person is saying that now they want to commit because they feel like you're celebrating. Somebody here feels like you're celebrating. Somebody here feels like you're winning. Somebody here feels like you're very intuitive, like you're magical. You're showing up as a high priestess. Somebody here feels like you're the full package and they feel like they fumbled the bag in the past. They wish they would have knew who you was in the past. This person is a fucking joke, okay? This person is a joke. Yeah, strength in the reverse. They're fucking weak. They're a coward. I'm sorry. They just are. This is not a real masculine. It's not. I'm sorry. They're just not. There's nothing real here about this person. This person want to give to you now, okay? But they broke your heart in the past, whoever this was. For some of you, they broke your heart. And for others of you, I feel like you ain't even give a damn. Yeah, this is somebody that's overbearing, controlling, and toxic. There go that emperor in the reverse again. Some of you have a cancer or a Capricorn that's stuck on you as well. And then for some of you, somebody that y'all used to deal with could be actually passing away. It's a whole bunch of shit that's coming out here. What the fuck am I picking up on? Okay, the emperor reverse, the chair reverse, the devil. The four swords, the tower, this is a casket. Somebody that y'all used to deal with, you could be finding out this person passed away. My condolences. This could even be somebody that y'all had kids with for some of y'all. That's so sad. I'm so sorry. Strong Virgo, strong Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo energy. Oh my God. What the fuck? You know, that's a lot going on. I mean, I don't really know where this message is going tonight, but what the hell? Okay. Empress, what you trying to do? You know, what? what is it that you're trying to do? I feel like you just, in your nine of pentacles, empress energy, you like, none of these people are my emperor. I'll wait for the real thing. I'll wait for the real deal. 
I'm going to just continue to focus on me. I feel like y'all don't even talk to nobody. Some of y'all, your phone dry as hell. Empress, for some of you, you done blocked damn near everybody. What you got? I'm hearing what you got a cell phone for. Okay, that's mad funny. Some of y'all, you don't talk to nobody. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. They go that Nine of Pentacles again. Nine of Pentacles then showed up in three different decks. Very independent, self-sufficient. I feel like you just cooling. You just trying to focus on yourself. Making yourself your main priority, your top priority. Good job, Empress. Good job. <clears throat> Somebody here is mad because they thinking about some sort of money. I'm telling you. A lot of this shit is surrounding money. Empress, I don't know if you got a raise, a promotion, a new job, a new opportunity. You got some sort of upgrade in life. But somebody here looking at you like you the motherfucking kingpin, okay? Like you, like you really got it. Yeah, there's an emperor in the reverse here that's really looking at you in that way. And this is somebody that y'all not talking to. For some of y'all, you, you couldn't even block this person. But this emperor in the reverse just keep fucking coming out it don't matter how much i shuffle what deck i choose listen y'all i'm on what the third deck now the emperor in the reverse that came out about three times yeah this is somebody that really that's really trying to come for you this emperor in the reverse really trying to come for you they're mad because things are going your way they're mad because they're down bad this is somebody that's depressed this is somebody that's sad this is somebody that's gossiping at about, about you during this time they mad because you standing your ground they mad because you don't want them for some of you you're not even attracted to this person it's a fucking virgo for some of y'all it's a virgo others of you it could be a pisces a taurus a scorpio a leo but you receiving justice and you look damn good justice and the queen of wands some of y'all, this person is upset because you looking better than ever. They saying you looking better than when you was dealing with them. Okay. Yep. There you are, collective, showing up as the high priestess. Four of wands. Wish fulfillment is being granted towards you. Okay. Wish fulfillment is coming towards you. Wish fulfillment is being granted for you. And this is because you went through some sort of transformation. You had a rebirth. Okay. You getting an upgrade now. Yep, and somebody from your past is missing you. They feel like you're getting a lot of attention, recognition, reward. Somebody here feel like, yeah, they're soulmate. This person could be a Scorpio, a Gemini, a Taurus, or an Aquarius, or a Virgo. Somebody with that in their chart. They're mad. This person is mad. They're mad because you're walking away from them. They're mad. I can't make it up. Empress. There you are, Empress. I knew your ass was going to come back out again. Empress to the Eight of Cups. You're walking away. You're going to receive an offer. That you're going to actually take, but it's not going to be from these people from your past that are upset with you. I'm hearing that somebody just can't stop lying either. There's a fire sign that wants to come towards you and give you some sort of offer. But this person is not even, they not even single. This person is not single. And this is somebody that's going to lie and act like they are single so that you can deal with them. This person ain't single, y'all. They not single. Spirit just told on them. Yep, Knight of Cups here, Temperance Reverse, the Chariot. Yeah, this fire sign, this cancer, whoever the fuck this is, this person ain't single. This person is still messing with somebody. They still got something going on. They need to stay the fuck away from you. That's what they need to do. <clears throat> yeah, the cycle closed out and you happy too. Yep, closing out cycles with third parties. I can't make it up. Look how this shit done came out, y'all. Three of cups in the reverse, the world card, and the nine of cups. Closing out cycles with third parties. Okay, you in this nine of cups energy, you single, you chilling, you happy, you fulfilled, you're not lonely, you don't need somebody, you're not pressed, you don't really want nobody to be honest. Some of y'all don't even want no fucking body. And the only if if you do want somebody, it's going it's gonna take a real special motherfucker to, to be with you because y'all are not settling for no bullshit at all. Like y'all are giving this energy where it's like no, not you, not you. Damn sure not you, not you, not you, not you. Nope, not you. I'll know who God sent when I see him. It ain't none of y'all. <laughs> and you just healing. And whoever's obsessed with you, it's like they just really want you, man. They just really want to be with you. I'm telling you, this is bad though because somebody here that y'all used to deal with is passing away or they have passed away and then for others of you somebody here that you used to deal with could be getting locked up y'all gonna find out something about somebody y'all used to deal with either this person has transitioned or they are getting locked up it's like one or the other that's gonna be some shocking news to you for some of y'all but you in this nine of pentacles nine of cups energy the sun you happy collective 
y'all are happy. Empress, you happy. You you just don't want to be bothered. And as far as these other women that think you want this person or this person, you ain't checking for neither one of these. One of these, you ain't checking for neither one of these dudes, truth be told. It's neither one of them. Neither one of them stand a chance. One person still got third parties. The other person, what's going on with the other person? The other person, you know that they just trying to block your real person from coming in. So you don't want them. Yeah. Somebody here is still a fucking player. There go that King of Wands in the reverse again. This King of Wands in the reverse really want to plant some sort of seeds with you. This is somebody that's wearing a mask. This is somebody that's going to take action, come towards you. They're wearing a mask. But for a lot of you, your spirit guides are actually stepping in. Divine intervention. They're actually protecting you from this person because they feel like this person is juggling you. This is somebody that did not choose you first. And I'm hearing that they didn't choose you multiple times. This person had multiple chances to choose you and they kept choosing somebody else over you. So spirit said, no, your spirit guides, your ancestors do not fuck with this king of wands in the reverse at all. This person could be a fire sign for some of y'all, but they don't fuck with this person. They said, absolutely not. You are not the one for my baby. Well, that's what they said. They said this person is not for you collective. They would not, e they don't, they're not even allowing this person to get near you. And if this person so happened to get near you and make you an offer, if you was foolish enough to accept, if you are foolish enough to accept this offer, it's like your spirit team is going to make you so unhappy with this person. Like they just going to be doing shit to make you unhappy with this person because they don't like whoever this person is. They don't like them. They telling me that they don't like this King of Wands in reverse. They don't like them because they watch this person juggle you. They watch this person choose multiple people multiple times over you. They don't like them. They said, leave that motherfucker alone. Five of Pentacles here. Leave that motherfucker alone. That's what they said. And if you are silly enough to take an offer from this person, they're going to make your life a living hell. You two will not be happy together because they do not like this person. They don't like them. They don't like them. Everything in your life is going to fall apart. Some of y'all may even lose some of y'all um, blessings. Okay? Like, literally, you may block your own blessings by being with this person because they're not going to bless you the way that they want to if you allow this person back into your energy because this person has bad karma right now. And also, they don't want this person to experience the happiness, the joy, the wish fulfillment, and the blessings that you're supposed to be receiving now. They don't want this person to experience that at all. So they're not even going to give it to you. You're going to block your own blessings by dealing with this person. All right. So don't do it, y'all. Don't do it. You single, you chilling, you happy, nine of pentacles, nine of cups, you're not pressed. You'll know who's from God when they get to you. It's none of these motherfuckers that's in your energy now. Not near one. All right, y'all. I'm going to talk to y'all soon. Peace.